Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me, the King of Funkos. And finally I have my hair cut. <gasps> oh, it's been a long time. Um, I have wanted this done for a while. And it's going to look really weird when you re uh, go back and watch some of my other videos. Because this is a video that I'm recording on Easter Monday. So happy Easter everyone. Um, and it's going to be published in probably less than two hours um so it's gonna be very weird when you watch the funko collections um and also other stuff that i have pre-recorded already um but today is mail day monday um i wasn't going to release this today i was going to wait until next week um but all of my mail has actually arrived um it's not much there's only four parcels i say parcels one of them i actually purchased from a lady that was close to where i live um in the peterborough area um so that's a bonus and all of them are kind of the same franchise um, and as you can kind of guess there is kind of one series that I am really really trying to complete um, most of all um, so I'm aiming to do that um, kind of some of the stuff that's coming up on the channel you have I believe another eight episodes of all of the Funko collection um, so bear with that um, it's a lot of editing on that because it's like 50 pops per video it's crazy um, and they do take quite a while to edit um, and that's all being pre-recorded um, we had a mystery Funkos season two um, uh, video that I have recorded but I had to wait to release and you'll understand why uh, when you uh, when it goes live um, and then we had mystery um, our kind of mail day so that's what we're gonna do um, so the lovely lady from um, Peterborough area um, she offered this pop to me for £40 originally. Um, I was debating it um, because I knew I needed it. Um, but after spending all that money on um, the kind of collection, I was kind of like um and ah and going, Ugh, you know, it's £40. It's not that bad. But at the same time, I needed to recoup some of my money back um, before I could even think about buying um, anything. Luckily, over the kind of last two weeks, um, we have kind of, not smashed it, but got me into an area where I feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, so I decided to go ahead and purchase it. Um, and that pop was um, this one. It is the Mad Hatter um, at the uh, Mad Tea uh, Party Attraction. Um, just bear with because I've managed to put a bit of tape on the side. Um, so I've needed this one because it's one of the pop rides from the 65th anniversary that I needed. Kind of my 65th anniversary pop, so I kind of get this out of the goddamn way. Um, are all here, so we kind of have our trains, um, right here. And then we, of course, we've got our bobsleigh, Peter Pan, Mr. Toad. The joke is kind of in the way, but I'll move that somewhere. Um, and of course, all of the kind of four inch pops. So I really needed this pop. Um, so I'm very glad that I have managed to uh, purchase this. Um, and then, oh God, I must have been in Wales when I did this. So um, I believe it was like November time that I purchased this. Um, and again, it is 65th anniversary pops. Like I say, I'm really trying to complete this. And I believe I'm down to three or four now that I need after I've got, um, shown you all of these. So I'm really happy. Um, and we have two small ones and we actually have a, a big one here um so i purchased these all together at the same time um and i actually purchased these on pop in a box but i actually did this from pop in a box um usa um and i will actually state this from my personal experience i can't stand pop in a box cannot they don't package them as will be set shown i check these um i have opened these i haven't opened the big one the big one was the one that i actually received first but um i received these and there is no packaging on them the only good thing is is there's absolutely no damage on them but i do find that pop in the box us normally come a lot better than pop in the box uk um and these two small ones um came from germany which i've never really had a problem when they get sent from germany and i have the american one here um, and the reason I bought them was because it worked out at uh, $9.99 and uh, $29.99 and it was cheaper than buying them over in the UK where their values were a lot more. And secondly, uh, I do prefer the US version. So the first pop that we have, these are a couple of the smaller, cheaper kind of pops. 
um, we do have our uh, Matterhorn bobsleigh Donald. Um, so again, I needed this uh, to complete this kind of back. Um, I literally already have Peter Pan, Hook and Mr. Toad. I just needed these two. Um, and you can kind of imagine what the next pop is going to be, Consider I said I needed the uh, other Mickey. Um, and that is exactly what we have here. We do have our Mickey Mouse um, bobsleigh from the Matterhorn. Now, I do like this pop. The only thing that kind of annoys me is you can see in there he's holding a hat. Um, I'm an inbox collector, so I don't want to take it out. But you can't, can't see the hat because uh, he's got damn ears in the way. Um, so it's a bit of a shame. But nonetheless, it is another pop to add to the collection. So from the four inch pops, apart from um, the train, we need... What do I need? I need the Dumbo and I need Cheshire Cat. That is it. Um, and then from the train, I just need Pluto which is £70 at the moment. Luckily, um, I did get um, Dumbo, who is the most expensive train part. It's valuing at about £80 now. I won that on an auction for £33. So I am not complaining there. Um, and then the only other um, things that I need is the Minnie Mouse on Dumbo, which I'm potentially about to get um, when I do a massive order from Pop Culture. Um, because it is on the pop culture website um, and I'm buying a load from over there so I may just add that in with it along with a few other pops that I'm looking at um, along with of course our mystery boxes because I haven't done a pop culture mystery box in quite a while um, I do actually want to um, order one um, again see what happens sort of thing see what um, crap we can get um, and this pop I'm hoping is not damaged Damn, I didn't see that. <laughs> they put fragile tape along it because <laughs> there is a massive hole. So I'm going to just show you this. And if there is no damage on this, it's a miracle. So, um, they repackaged it by Yodel. Fair play, I understand. Look at that. Damn, someone kicked that hard. Um, again, it had no packaging. Um, but... We have a pop that I have wanted for some time. We have Mickey Mouse um, in the Sleeping Beauty Castle. So I only need Walt Disney. And then I have completed it. Apart from um, the keychains. But again, they're on pop culture. So I probably buy them when they come over. Um, but this is a really nice um, pop for sure. Uh, this actually goes along with the Captain Hook, Peter Pan, Mr. Toad set. So I'm really glad. And actually, shockingly, there isn't any damage. So that's a miracle. Pop in a box. I applaud you. We finally have a pop mystery box sort of thing that hasn't got damage. So we are so close to completing this set. And we will. We'll get there eventually. Um, it is one that I haven't... It's going to be the first kind of set that I'm going to complete. Um, kind of a bit about the sets that I'm going to complete. Um, kind of all my pops behind me are a bit random. I have horror, I have Disney, I have everything. Um, and originally I was going to complete sets. Like I was going to get all the Alien pops, all the um, Pennywise pops. Which I still may do. Um, but I'm a lover of Disney as well as horror. Um, and I was kind of like, I want all of the um, Monsters Inc. And I was like, oh, damn. But it was going to get really expensive. So now what I've done is actually on my Wanted, um, I have taken off it, like complete sets. And what I want is a character from every single film. So um, like with the new groove, I want uh, Yamcha, uh, Hercules, I want Hercules, um, uh, Baby Pegasus, you know, Hades. Um, and at least at one pop from every single character um, and they have to have the actual Disney logo I don't want um, let's say for instance uh, Jack Skeleton um, if it had uh, Nightmare Before Christmas that doesn't bother me I actually just want the Disney um, logo um, so I'm going to plan to actually try and do that I worked it out with all of my wanted it works out about 300 pops and it's about 13,000 pounds um, so it's going to be fun 
but the way I'm going to do it is I'm not going to be looking to try and purchase them outright. Um, I'm only purely going to try and keep them in mystery boxes. So it's almost like I have to pack them to keep them. Um, every now and then I might go and buy one, but that is my plan. I want to see how many pots we can actually pack um, and see what we can do. Um, because I think that's more fun. You know, I feel more satisfied if I have managed to get it in a mystery box over um anything else so we're going to see what we can do um but that is it for this video um i hope you guys did enjoy uh, i do apologize if you can see the tv just keep scrolling um for me it's football time um and football is on and even better i've just seen portsmouth have just scored so result home team one wigan nil thank god um but um i hope you hey, did enjoy it if you did leave a massive like Comment what uh, pops your favourite. Are you trying to complete a set as well? Let me know. Um, of course, I'm always interested. Subscribe if you're new around uh, the channel. Um, I'm really enjoying this kind of refresh um, look, feel of the channel. So I'm really, really digging this. Um, I hope you guys are too. And of course, uh, stay safe. Um, of course, we're coming out of the COVID restrictions a little bit now. So, um, of course, anyone uh, that uh, doesn't feel safe, of course, um, my inbox is kind of open. You guys probably find me on Facebook. Just give me a message. Comment on YouTube if you feel uh, you need to. But I'm always open to a chat for sure. Um, and apart from that, guys, uh, stay safe. Thanks.